COP26 it stands for Conference of the Parties, and it's the 26th edition. They are climate negotiations held under the auspices of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, which was established in the early 90s. Now, the aim of the framework is to reduce carbon emissions that would keep the world's atmospheric warming within relatively safe levels. There are a very complex series of negotiations between all of the parties, so that's almost 200 uh, nations who will come together and negotiate uh, the rules uh, around carbon emission reductions, how these will be monitored, how wealthier nations will support less wealthy nations, and how those results would be monitored, reported. So, for example, one of the issues that will be negotiated would be the idea of, say, a five-year framework to track progress for future COPs. We've all seen the effects of extreme weather events over the past few months. We've seen terrible fires, seen terrible floods affecting all kinds of people in different parts of the world. And this has happened with a global warming of about 1.2 C compared to the pre-industrial level. So the aim of COP is not to exceed 1.5 C and we know that a 1.5 C world is much safer than a 2 C world, that every 0.1 C makes a big difference in terms of the numbers of people which can be counted in the hundreds of millions that would be impacted by extreme weather, issues like health, food and water security and the potential to trip big unforeseen events like the collapse of polar ice sheets.